two guys take some movies here and today we're reviewing uh, Independence Day 2 Resurgence trailer. Uh, we love the trailer, right? I we mean, it's way trailer. better than the first one visually and even uh, story-wise. Story-wise, it looks similar. Somewhat changed, but mostly similar. To the but, uh, first movie. Yeah. True. But, uh, yeah, and there's as a far as visual effects, the first one came out in 19... I was talking about the first trailer, but that's uh, cool. That's cool. That's cool. I. So you do expect visual changes? Of, of course. course. Of course. Naturally. I mean, I saw Independence Day original just uh, either a few months ago or last year, and visuals, uh, they're... It's getting old, so... I mean, they're still good for that time. But they're good for that time, For but today's generation. Yeah. We uh, moved on. Yeah. Uh, so, seeing Bill Pullman, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, but the uh, the guy who plays his dad. Uh, Thor's younger brother. <sighs> Thor's younger brother, man. He, he seems to be in every movie that seems to be a sequel or a remake these days. If he... Well, he does. Now, which other movies are we talking about exactly? Uh, Hunger Games. Uh, well, he, he was, was there in all three. I, mean, I know, I, I, know I saw him someplace else, but he was somewhere else. Anyways, uh, Independence Day 2 seems like it's going to be pretty much copy-paste of the first one. I just hope that this time the technology of humans and aliens is on par I mean from what we saw from the trailer you would actually you see that the earth has been preparing for 20 years for the coming 20 years yes for the return of the aliens and you also see that the aliens have been preparing for 20 years to return to the so, earth well as yeah. far as their technology with the gravity stuff falling up and coming that, down that was pretty uh, that was, they also uh, they they advanced in technology that was as, almost transformers kind of technology stuff but when it comes to that big ship with the gravity stuff that's almost like that one of those big uh transformers uh planets basically i mean it's oh, similar I mean, yeah. if you, you should similar just copy paste yeah, it from see, another movie and and i don't know who's playing bill pullman's daughter if it's the same actress i haven't i haven't I don't checked know. that but it was good seeing uh the guy who plays i forget his name uh jeff's dad jeff's dad yeah yes that the Jewish guy. The Jewish guy, yeah. Who plays a lot of chess in Park. Um, yeah. Which was good. one of the best moments in the movies for me. Is like He plays a lot of chess. And now you see him with Goldblum one, playing chess. One thing I loved the most was Return of the Dead People. And then... I mean, not, not the crucial Dead People. Not the Dead People we actually want to see back. But the actual Dead People. Like scientists <laughs> who died in the first movie coming back. I was like, oh, that's dead guy that scientist who was working with aliens in area 51 yeah, who died and that was one. like and until you told me like they brought him back from the dead and i was like that's right he died in the first movie yeah he's dissecting the alien and, and then we check kind of chokes him to death talks through him and then kind of throws him away yeah but for all and he's dead and, purposes, and you know he, he's dead he died, yeah. they show him he's dead in the first movie yeah, he's dead he died but he's got two scenes in the trailer, so I mean, if nothing else, he's got two scenes more than Will Smith. Yeah, and we did, you did the research on it. Well, well I've read three, like, article. three articles on it. But. but basically, the reason Will Smith is not in the movie is because his character died in the uh, post-movie. From, from what I know, there was a story after the first one, they actually asked him whether he wants to do the second one. And at the time, he said no. So they figure we'll kill him, we'll make the sequel without him, justify he died. Yeah, years in later the aftermath. when they decide to make a yeah. sequel because this was Then it took him 20 the years, movie. then it took him 20 years and then Will wanted to come back and what he found out was that he died and they couldn't bring him back. Yeah, in comic books or stories or whatever, novels if there are any, but it's stupid to bring back a scientist dude who died in the first movie and then not well it's bring possible back. that back in the day they asked him if he wanted to do the second one and he said yes and so yeah and even though they killed him they still brought him back but will said no and they decided to yeah. kill him forever which is stupid because they could have retconned it in the movie either way because i don't know how many they could people... have done it with him I just don't... because he's such a strong presence and they make the reference one. to him in the trailer too his son is there 
so you see the younger Smith guy. Yeah, well, Common. He's homegrown now. Common, yeah. But, uh, played by Common. But, uh, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know how many people actually read the uh, post Independence Day. I, I'm not one of those. So I don't know what happens like, in that. In those so stories. It's, I know that in in one of them will die. Either if it's books, dies, if so. it's books or comic books, I don't think too many people read those, and they could have easily know. brought him back for the movie. Even if he wanted to do it, because I think that he said, if you put the story right, I'll come back. If you yeah. do a shitty story, so are you excited for the movie? Actually, yeah. I think we saw, even though they, it looks like they're remaking the first one, we saw that we when you do it. it. Yeah. yeah, but if you see, there are similarities, and I think you're looking at something to, similar to what JJ did with Star Wars, where there's elements of oh, the story. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. From JJ did it with four in the seven, yeah. they're doing it obviously. Yeah, that was with my biggest one. problem. I actually the, uh, loved it because they're going with something that's already proven to be good. People love it. I think at the end of the day, you're going to see as many disappointed people, but yeah, you know th what? That's one of, yeah, uh, that's one of the things that made but me I less think excited that... for the movie. I'm still going to see it, but I'm not excited for it. I, I'm going to go see it. So I actually can't wait to see what they put up on screen. I'm actually really excited to see it. Well, hopefully my job allows or yeah. lack of it, I'm going to go see it too. So yeah. Uh, Independence Day 2 Resurgence looks like a pretty good movie both visually and story-wise even though some of it makes me less excited for it and him makes me even more excited so yeah that's our take on it. Let us know what you think. How did you like the first Independence Day movie? I remember seeing it. We watched that movie on and off on VHS for like... I think we wore the tape out. Almost. It was one of those things where... It was one of those movies that It was a could... family favorite sort of. <laughs> yeah. And, the, and that, we loved it. So yeah and Bill really... Pullman's Independence Day speech, one of the best speeches in movie history ever. As far as presidents go. I mean, I rewatched it and you know, when you, if you think too much about it, it didn't, I don't know, man. It brings tears to my eyes every time I watch it. That's why. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> totally another topic. Not as good as I remember the speech to be. So. My uh, favorite part about the first one is the guy dying? No, the guy that got abducted. Stuck it back up to him, blew up the first ship. The guy who sacrificed himself yeah, yeah, for yeah. the benefit the of the crowd. The crowd does the guy. The crowd does the guy, yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm, why, why couldn't they bring him back to I him? know, right? <laughs> Judd Hirsch. Judd Hirsch. Jeff Goldblum's character's dad. I knew I'd remember it. Uh, it's Friday. Have a great weekend, Go everybody. wild, you know? Yeah, go watch a movie. Jungle Book still playing. Hardcore Henry still out. I Criminals because... out there? Yeah. Watch Criminal. I in the Sky is out there. Well, it's always out there, but uh, don't do anything stupid, you know? <laughs> They're always watching. Yeah. Uh, leave us a comment below. Share, subscribe. Peace out. Yeah.